Hello and welcome to Channel Sports on Sunday. I'm Cecilia Omogwe in Lagos. Of course, Kenneth Chonogo is in London. He will be joining me from there. But this is what the show is looking like this afternoon. We're talking about the Federation Cup. Yes, how do we bring back the glamour of the Federation Cup? We will be having the legends of the game joining us on the show. And also, the Springs of Nigeria will be in action this evening against Sierra Leone, and that game will be in Morovia, Liberia, 5 p.m. Nigerian time. We'll be talking about that because the coach, the captain, and of course, the top players are talking ahead of that game. It's not about superstars. It's about who work harder. That's what the message coming from the captain of the team. And of course, we just have to Take a look at the Super Falcons list again. Yes, extensively we discuss it on Sports Night on Friday. But today we're going to bring in a different issue because Ngozi could be one of the players excluded from the list. She's been tweeting because of outpouring of love coming to her. And also, well, we will also just take a look at the MPFL. The, the, the AIMBA, of course, they are the champions of the league. They didn't start the season so well, but uh, for Finidi George, he won his first uh, trophy for uh, the ABBA Elevans. We'll be talking about that. And also, how, how do we sustain the league? How do we make it more viable? Those involved in the games, they've been talking also how they can have their bridge league for a while and then see how they can gradually go back to the 38 games uh, league. All right, our team, our uh, games. Uh, Ken Chinoga is ready to join me now. Ken, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, Sissy. Uh, uh, we promised them that we are going to have an, you know, a Federation Cup special. Yeah. <laughs> we promised them. And let me tell you this, it doesn't get bigger than this. It doesn't mm -hmm. get bigger than this. Uh, uh, we have the legends in the house. We have the, the best, the best I, sometimes people say, is it the best Nigerian goalkeeper? No, 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 no. I think to me, it's one of the, the when you talk about Levi Ashin, uh, Gordon Banks, whatever, you mentioned him is in that breath. He's one of the greatest goalkeepers ever to have ever manned the post. And we have the, the, another defense Trojan, the man who won the FA Cup without conceding a single goal in that defense. Man, it can't get bigger than this. Today, it is a Federation Cup special, and CC, the guys are in the house, and we are ready to go. All right, we are obviously ready to go. Of course, we'll be joined by Emmanuel Okala. Uh, he'll, be, he'll be joining us on the program. And also, we'll be having Francis Monier Dafe. He, he will also be joining us. So these are the legends of the game. They played the game. At the time they were playing this game, it was glamorous. It was something we're all celebrating. But this time around, and I mean, last season, I was a no-no. So let's forget about last season. But this season, they're trying to bring back the glamour. But we haven't seen that, Ken. I mean, the, the game I happened to watch one in Lagos, uh, which was um, at the Mobalaji Johnson Arena, Onikon Stadium, where Ben Assurance are played against Wari Wolves. Yes, it was a very good game. But then we didn't see that vibe that we used to see in those days. I mean, you've been, you know, seeing it and talking about Enungo Rangers and Ben Assurance in those days, whenever they are playing, the stadium is filled up. And also you have this rivalry between, between these two teams. You know, uh, Rangers have won the Federation Cup about seven times. Uh, for Ben Assurance, take about three, or they are going for their fourth title. So when you're having these uh, big teams, they used to be the dominant factor, and both are coming together. I mean, it is supposed to be explosive, but we're happy that uh, we already have the date of the final already after much, you know, fixing and unfixing 21st. That's yeah. on Wednesday. That's when we're having it, right? At first, it was 15, and then 18, and then 21st of June. But this is confirmed coming from the Federation. 21st in Asaba, Delta State. That's when the final will be taking place between Bender Insurance and, of course, Enugu Rangers. <laughs> That's when it's uh, taking place. So, Ken, what are we expecting? If we have uh, Emmanuel Kala, he can join us now on the program. If he's ready to join us, we will be yeah, linking up all, with them. They are, yeah. they, joined, uh, I think they are all now. Emmanuel Kala and, uh, uh, and Francis Monidape, they are right here in the house. They've joined wow. already. They are in the house. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 there, there we have them. Okay. Yeah, Ken, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're, we're, this is just this is just the beginning. We want to have. I I, I just wish both of them would be at you know in Asaba. 
I don't want to tell you what has been going on behind since the, both of them joined this morning with me here. They've been, they've been, they've been bantering, they've been hitting themselves and stuff. I don't know. You, you don't know how close these guys are until <laughs> you, you put them together. I just wonder how Asaba will look like. It will have a man of all color, Christian Chukum, Francis Monidafi. We have, you know, all of them gather. You understand? Right there. I think it is what it is. Let me tell you this. Uh, when we go to the stadium, and then you ask a Raiders fan, you don't, you don't forget this. Holy, 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 Enugu Rangers, another champion. Understand? I'm not, you know, I tell you, and when insurance and work like, no, 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 Okala says it is not a rivalry. They're not there, our mates. They just, someone forgets to beat us balls. <laughs> Well, let's hear from the legend. Let us hear from the legend. Let us hear from the legend. Okay, let's let's start with, let us start from the man mountain himself, Emmanuel Okala, the legend, the one and only. Hello, sir. You welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Thank you, my brother, Ken. Yeah. How are you people doing? Well, all fine. The, all fine. the people in the house, I greet all of you. Yes. <laughs> and Francis Monidafi, he's on, you know, of course, he's, he's based in the USA, uh, uh, but he's in Nigeria now. He's on his way from Jalingo to Yola. So you can imagine what we have. We grabbed him on the road. <laughs> he's moving there. Franco Nero, I call him. How are you? How are you, Franco? Yeah, no, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, it's great. It's great to catch you guys here. Uh, uh, let, let, let's, let's, let's start before we go to, before we go to this, uh, um, uh, 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 Legend Okala, you growing up before you played, let me say, let me say, I'm going to give this introduction, because we have the Edo Arsenal, insurance is known as the Edo Arsenal for going on beating. Rangers, we call them the Bayern. Rangers, Bayern Munich won the, uh, the uh, Champions League in 1974, 1975, and 1976. Rangers won the FA Cup in a row, 74, 75, 76. I'm frank with enough that one, I'll show you. No What was it like, Okala, what was it like, you know, before you played in those finals, what was it like thinking about the Challenge Cup, you know, with how it was then? What was it like growing up as a child? Well, a lot of concentrations. I haven't gone the length of getting to the finals. You encourage yourself, encourage uh, your teammates. Because where, uh, all the time I served Rangers as a player, I was always helping the team. There was a time I was made chairman of Rangers Footballers Association. It's me that is chairman, not Christian Chukwu. So NS Okongo doesn't know who they call chairman before he started uh, giving us nicknames. I was the chairman because with my height and physique, you know, I control the players very, very well. We hold meetings amongst ourselves. Let it not be from your wing that goes who, who scored against us. And we agree. Move as a family, one family. And we get the results. OK. Hello. Yeah, hi. What is happening to the network? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Go on, go on. We are hearing you, legend. Legend, we are go on. Go on. You have your allowing so, your still play. We always come all out and play our matches and try to win it. And you know, being on our side, we that was how we made all those victories we made. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, let's let's let's, let's let's let's. Let's go yeah, to let's go to uh, 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 Fra Fra Francis Monedafe. Hello, uh, hello, hello, Franco. Hello. Uh, uh, I know every the, the, uh, preparing 1978 comes to mind. It was your hour of glory. Yeah. It was uh, the uh, the minnows, me? the minnows coming in. Yeah, uh, there were two teams so, in Nigeria then, uh, you either have Rangers or IIC shooting stars. I mean, but you guys came in with your, your, your green and yellow and yellow jersey and dazzled the world. What was it like in 1978, before you faced Rangers in the final? Fear catch on a small shot, tell the truth. Uh, yeah, and Nigeria. When we came in that day or that year, our main goal was to dethrone IICC and Rangers International. And every player on that team dreamt and worked hard towards it. We trained twice as hard to make sure we were victorious. And like we said earlier, we started from the, from the nationals. 
we, the defense did not consider a single goal. The whole challenge cup, 1978, getting that. So, that, I mean, you might think we're just, oh, I'm just boasting, but we, we felt it, we had it in us that we were going to crush anything ahead of us, in front of us, to get to that cup. And we started with ICC, nobody gave us a chance. So, our Rangers to finish us. So, okay, we got to the finals, warm up three goals, and it was complete dominance. No, I mean, Rangers is not uh, a pushover. Three, three years champions in a row, back to back. Everybody in Africa was scared of Rangers. But we, we, were, we were small then, they call us small. We were average 24 years old, and we came out determined and we did it. And it's history. We changed Nigerian football when we were played, and that was the beginning of a new era for Nigerian football. So, Babuja, Man, Man, Man Mountain, great team, Rangers. But I think it was our time in 78, and we took it in grand style. Okay, that, that was in 1978. What, 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 what can, you, can you give us a lineup of that squad? And how many of you are still kicking today? I'll, I'll give you the starting lineup. But I want Naji in gold. Ajay right back, Kadri left back, uh, Lucius Bartek, center back, myself, center back. But midfield, we had Aboni Follett and uh, Mokaro left. Outside of Christopher Obu in the U.S., Peter Igareva, uh, Henry Oboy. Where did you offer? Henry <laughs> Oboy. And then, and then uh, Baja and Rufus Jelly. Right now, uh, we have Aboni Follett, Omokaro Lett. The rest of you guys are still alive. Of the starting lineup. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we have Chris is in the US. Our boy is in New York. Peter Egareva is in Lagos. Ebenezer Baja in Benin. Ejele is in Abuja. Kadri Kana is in Abiyokuta. Lucius Boateng in Accra, Ghana. Ajele is back in Imo State. Agwanda is in Enugu and myself. Okay, uh, let, let's go to the legend. Uh, uh, people don't, uh, see, uh, uh, I, I, I know, I like the way Enes Okoko normally call your name. Emmanuel Ogwejo for Okala. What is Ogwejo for? What does it, what does it mean? <laughs> Ogwejo for? Yes. A, a fight, you know, you have all your staff, your strength, everything. I'm blessed to go into. And you must come as <laughs> successful. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, you, 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 the Rangers, I know Rangers, after losing in 18, uh, 1978, came back to win beat insurance in 1981. But by that time, both of you guys are, you know, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are you retired from the game. But what made uh, uh, the FA Cup then, the Challenge Cup, what made it so glamorous that we are, that we are missing right now, that it has turned a second fiddle to, you know, uh, 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 to, 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 to the league? One, it, it, it was because of the individual players that are playing at that time. The type of dedications we had when we were playing those days, it doesn't exist anymore. Because we go uh, all out. Even if we are playing for our clubs, our, the nation, we go all out to put our, put, put our best out. But these days, it's not the same thing. Either they are fearing their leg or doing one thing or the other. We just go all out. And we are very, very dedicated. That's the difference. Uh, uh, you, 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 you played, I know you played Iceland Rock in 76 final. Uh, who did you, uh, in 74 and 75, who did you play in the final? Uh, 75 and 75. Uh, uh, Mighty Jess will be in there. I don't know the other club. Yeah, okay. Uh, which, which was your most memorable final? No, no, they're all the same. Very tough man. <laughs> well, because the final is a final. Very tough matches. I could remember the day we played the Mighty Jets when we were warming up to enter the field. A jet flew very low <laughs> over the national stadium. Yeah. Just to motivate them. Then the whole started up, G, up, G, up. We were not shaking. <laughs> we went there and destroyed them. Uh, uh, yeah, there's uh, something I want money, money that money that I don't know. 
Yes, tell he doesn't it. know it. Yes. Mm -hmm. In that 1978, we were the defending champions. Yes. Yes, we that's holding the truth. The cup. Yes. Playing all, all over Africa. When we came back from just a, 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 one of the one of the matches, the NFA asked our officials whether they would like to go and bring the cup back from Enugu to Lagos for us to play the finals. Or for them to postpone it a little bit for us to take some rest. Our officials told them that they, they, they wanted us to they wanted the cup to play immediately. So uh, Matthias Obianica, blessed memory, was the secretary of Rangers. Our officials ordered, sent him to Enugu to go and bring back the cup. So why I'm saying this thing, you must have had um, Monday, Odige, the now Bendel insurance coach. Yeah. He was talking of fatigue. My brother, we were over fatigue. Indeed. And this decision caused a lot of problems in our camp. Cause he, 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 it cost me my losing my because Chris Enchiku was injured at that time. He cost me my my distance, my captainship over over Chris Enchiku when we played them there another in another two weeks. I said, how can you play the, after the final? I said, how can how can people organize such a thing? And to worsen the whole thing, you know, they started uh, putting obituary. There was one new FM stereo. That was open newly in FM2 in Lagos. That Rangers yes. is dead, buried, survived by this. They will start I, calling our name. Yes, that one pained us more. <laughs> we we'll remember that in two weeks' time, we are going to meet them. <laughs> so we say, okay, we shall see. And we play that 2 2 draw. They, they wouldn't believe that was how Raka, the county won the, 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 the this thing. The, the league. Yes. So they were never double champions. They were never double champions. We sure they <laughs> yes, we made sure they, they didn't make it as double champion. Money that I didn't know this thing. We were over fatigue. Ask Mondo or DJ what is your fatigue. He will tell you. We were over fatigue. That's the answer. They didn't know. They didn't just that cheap. No, no, Franco, no. Franco, when you replied, you had you are you are hearing the legend. He said you he said you beat a fatigue rangers. It was a fatigue uh, that you beat. Not half legged, half legged. Oh, 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 half -legged. General, let me say something. One, one answer. If they had won, that would have come. That's my point. If they had won, they wouldn't have talked about fatigue. <laughs> that's my point right now. Okay, talk to Mondo Digi. Talk to Digi. Talk to Mondo Digi. Let me tell you, fatigue, fatigue is the truth. But if you had won, you, you wouldn't have been saying that now. That's my point. You are saying and a different thing now. You are saying no, a different thing. No, but I ask your now. coach now. Mondo Odige that was too bad by I a don't have to ask Mondo. Mondo Odige is my yeah. boss. I don't know about fatigue more than he does. I agree. If you had won that day, you would not be saying fatigue now. That's my point. We won. Simple. I'm that just that's telling you our point. reason, which we'll never say I know, before. I agree, I'm I agree. to say I agree, it now. I agree with you. I agree with your reason, yes. You can say that, but my point is, if you had won that day, you wouldn't have been saying fatigue now. You wouldn't have said your fatigue and you won. So that's the point. It's done. It's done. Yeah, what, what, let, me, let, me, let, me ask, let me ask both of you this question. What now happened uh, for Rangers after that, after uh, I think the 81 victory or so? It took them so many, almost 32 years to win. Insurance since 1980 has, after in 78, won in 80 against, I think that against the uh, Superstars, Franco? Yes, was, yes. That was in the both of you, the two clubs just went on oblivion. What really transferred? Let's start with insurance. What happened to the great insurance before now? Uh, one, management. And then there's a change in Nigerian football. Like uh, Babu just said now, commitment. When we're playing, we got the field there, we were ready to die. But there's this going overseas and the management of the clubs and all kinds of came in with the foot with sports with referees where you can you can buy buy the games and all that so the standard of the game and everything went down you know like like for rangers I mean, like for Benjamin Shran sorry when look when there, when there was governor it, it was still up there I mean, I mean they played in the FA Cup finals semi-finals but after that management and no commitment to player player welfare so the standard of the game dropped and it's about coming back up now. Imagine back in days, 
FA Cup final. This next week, the whole country will stand still until after the after the, but it's not there now. That is the Let's go final day week, month, semi finals. All everybody is on board to go in there. So the standard of management. Players' commitment is zero. I don't blame them because compared to what they get abroad now. So that's what I mean. That, that's what I think is the problem. But it's coming up now. Hopefully, we'll get things back. Nigerian okay, football is too, uh, good. It's too good. It's too close. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the legend himself. Uh, for, for, for Rangers, yeah. what happened to the what happened to the Giants? What happened to Rangers? The true story is management. Sorry, don't have a money or the management that they don't doesn't have interest in the game. We are going nowhere because I remembered after the Nations Cup of 1980, I resigned. I was the first person, the first person in Nigerian uh, Nigerian for to do a written resignation from the national team. And they accepted my letter, so I resigned and left the national team. Mm. So Jim Wobu was our governor. He just said, "Fine, you Jim Wobu." He called me and Chris and said, I don't want to hear any resignation from Rangers. You can resign from the national team, but not in these Rangers. That we must go that it will and bring him back to Challenge Cup. That you make Chris and Chiku the coach, make me the team manager. We did that and he, you know, he, he made us what he promised to make us. And we, like in Bendel now, Bendel Insurance, they have a capable hand that is, is, man, that is managing them. His Excellency Shaibu Ahmad. Uh, yes, Shaibu. No, Shaibu and Shaibu. Philip, Philip Shaibu. So he's running the Philip. place like his business. So he's doing a lot of things for the team. Like when uh, uh, His Excellency Obumudia said, was, was there. So they are coming up. But yeah, I let him remember fatigue. fatigue. I agree with the fatigue. I agree with the fighting, but if you had won, you won't be saying fatigue now. That's my point. I agree with you. You guys came from Uganda and everything. First, 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 first thing first. First thing first. I agree. I'm not agree with you. First, but if they you had won. won, they won the you last won. one Ranger has won at Asaba. I was there. Yeah, yeah okay. this very one. This very one of which I'm going to be the I call by special grace of God. Not everybody. <laughs> Francis, Francis, he said he will be there in, in Asaba. Okay. Will you be there? Okay. Will you be there in Asaba? I, I, I will be there in Asaba too. I will, I will sit on the same chair. On the same, you can't be here. Before, before, before you leave Medugri to start coming here, we've already finished match. <laughs> I will like that, Medugri. I tell you, like, I will just fly in there straight. We'll I'll finish the, 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 from Yola. We'll finish match before you before set here for us. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you think so? I'm telling you, me... give you the result. <laughs> okay. I'm, en I'm, I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying this. Uh, our color is over 70, <laughs> our price is about, you know, over 60. And I tell you this, these, these are grandparents that you are seeing right on this show, uh, you, 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 you don't catch this everywhere. You don't catch this everywhere. How often do you guys, do you, do you guys still meet, do you guys still talk? You know, I know you don't, the, the meeting is difficult, but how often do you talk among yourselves? You know, the great ones, how often do you do this? Francis. Ah. Okay. Okay, let him, okay. Emma, 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 let's hear you, okay. let, let's hear you, let's hear you. Let's hear you. Always, you always. We are always. very close, you always. Okay. It's always. good. Yeah. You could have had him before uh, this program was on. Uh, uh, Papu just he said he told me good morning. I never replied. Papu <laughs> just So we're talking. You know, or dead by me, or dead by me, I don't care. We talk. And in Rangers, if you see what I'm wearing, you know, S Rangers, S players, S Rangers players association. Yes. We, we have an, a powerful association. We meet every last Tuesdays of the month. Up to today, I'm talking to you. Wow. We how many? How many, of, how many of you guys? Okay, how many uh, of you guys are okay, still meet actively in that okay. in, in, in those those eight seventies and eighties uh, 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 team? How many of you are still together? I say we are both old and new retirees. We meet okay. every every last Tuesdays of the month. And okay. then we have an office at Nandi Square Stadium. We okay. have an office there. I mean, all right, that, 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 that's, that's, that's really interesting. 
Let's go back to CC. Let's go back to CC. Okay, my dear. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, but we Cecilia. need to go. Uh, yeah, we need to go on a break. So when we come back, of course, Francis will also tell us if the former insurance players are also still meeting and I'm maybe meeting. what we need to do <laughs> to ensure that that glamour yeah. that you guys had in the seventies, we can bring it back in, you know, in the two thousands. <laughs> Let's go on a short break. Yeah, uh, welcome back. Emmanuel Kala has been talking about how they see meet every Tuesday. That's interesting. And for internationals like this to be able to give you the first 11 of how they started then, all their names and where they live, that shows that these players are still very much together. But I don't know about Francis, if they are still... I don't know about... Um, yeah, let's go to Francis and to know if maybe they are still meeting the way Emmanuel yeah. Kala was talking about, you know, those, how they meet and everything, what they do every Tuesday, having that Rangers International, you know, Old Boys Association, so to speak, uh, former players. Mr. Francis, please. All right. I must, I must give it to Rangers and Emmanuel Kala. They have a, a well-structured association. Yeah. In fact, I was honored to be invited to one of one they had in America. And in Charlotte, North Carolina, pre-COVID, they have a very good association. Okay. However, however, for pension insurance, my my said they are. Oh, I, I think oh, it's breaking up. Uh, the seventeenth century. Mm -hmm. We are put in touch. Like I'm about, I'm break, I'm breaking off. Go on, okay. go on. I think it's better okay. now. Better now, okay. I said we all seventy-eight said we are much together, but recently uh, the whole Bengal Insurance, ex Bengal Insurance Group, we have a forum where uh, you know we get together and talk and talk about Bengal Insurance, how to get back and uh, put it put us back. On. We are not as organized as Rangers for now. We're we're in touch. Okay. Yeah, we're happy you guys we're are working. Touch. Okay, working towards that. Be as organized as Rangers, so that UKS can always have a say when it comes to running yeah. of this club. Now, let me just ask you this: Ben Insurance has a, had a fantastic season. We can say that because the first time they are coming to it was their first, you know, top flight of football after a long while. They came one time, they went back, but now they were able. They are being able. They are staying in the league. This time around, after the first time when they came, insurance was in NNL for a very long time. But then they have young players, you know, who from the National League up to the top flights, not really going into the markets and getting new players. But they had 26 games on BT run, though they had, yes, a lot of draws. But what do you think about this team and what can be put in place to make them better next season? And also, of course, are playing against Rangers International, if you can give us your prediction. I mean, three questions in one, kind of. So I'll take the first one. The okay. team, I would love to say, the team is pretty young. And I, I, I was very impressed with the season, with the way they uh, took care of the season. The unbeaten run from nowhere. Like you said, it went up and then came down immediately. Then they back up in there now. So it's a great record. And hopefully, and uh, uh, prayerfully, they will, they will come back and do better this year. But they have to keep the players, the motivated players. The way it is now, there must be agents, teams trying to get them out. If you can get 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 the boys uh, motivated and of course give them enough pay, then they can stay and, and uh, forge the team and then build on the results they have, they've, they've had this year. What, what was the third, I mean, the third, third question? Yeah, that, that was, uh, what, I mean, that was the Federation Cup against uh, Rangers. What can they do? I mean, okay. they, can, can they win your prediction? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I, I, of course, we're going to win. Uh, Emmanuel Kala was saying, by the time I come from Edukuri, they would have won. Well, it's going to be the same thing. By the time it comes from Edukuri, Bender will be, will be on top. It's time for Bender to go on top. Rangers. They, they wanted to years ago in summer. This time it's our backyard, so it's gonna be a very it's a big win for Bender Insurance. It's time for Bender to come back again. 
and you'll find out in a few days what it's all about. All right. I, I know you have a so book written. Okay. Okay. I know you have a book written about you that I, I've seen the cover. I haven't read it written about you, you know, your exploits and all that. I don't know if Emmanuel Kala has a book about himself, you know, his exploits and, of course, the Rangers team. Okay, this is your own, Francis, uh, uh, I mean, what you've written about. I yeah. really want to read this book, you know, to see that glory years of Ben and Sharon's and see what it's about. So I don't know if Emmanuel Kala also has a book, you know, written about him. Well, as you see, mine is still in the making. <laughs> okay. We'll come out, I'll, I'll finish it up very soon. <laughs> okay, I, I can't wait to see that. So over to you, Ken. I mean, you, I know you're, you have been to yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I, I, the same person, in the same person I want to ask the man mountain, <laughs> uh, uh, because uh, Francis Moreda Facebook is out. Uh, uh, the chairman, the chairman, uh, 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 Christian Chuku, is also, his book yeah. is also out. I think that book will be launched this second month. One, second one, second one. Christian Chuku. The second, second one, one is out. We can we'll see that. The field, the field marshal will also we'll see the cover. You know, uh, we'll we can see that. So, uh, and the, okay, this is this is the field marshal by uh, uh, Chairman <laughs> Chuku. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we want to have a collection. So is it the the next generation will know exactly what transpired, how football is before now, and what we ought to be doing. So uh, uh, I just want to thank the two legends, like you said. Uh, 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 Emmanuel Kala, my favorite guy. Uh, Francis, you guys are always with me. I we talk and we chat, and then you know I, I don't know how trained we are. But like you said, what would be the score? What would be the score of this match on on uh, on, on Wednesday? Uh, let's, let me start from Francis. Francis, what's the, what's the score before we sign you off? Your prediction? You're off. You're off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, uh, oh, yeah. Kala, what what will, what what would be the score? The better side will win, and Rangers will be the better side. By special grace <laughs> of God, that day. All right, I think since we can sign it off from there. Thank you, legend. And for uh, the money that made me to remember that we have a, our association as Rangers as in America. Very powerful. Okay. Very powerful. Connect with them. Very okay. powerful. Uh, mm. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for grateful. Thank you, thank everybody. You. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad then. I'm glad. Money right. that fair. <laughs> See you. See you after the match when we are, when I'll give you the result. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sas. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the program. I mean, it would have loved to actually have a Federation Cup Day where you have these legends of the game, and, you know, joining you on the program. It's actually an honor for me to be here, you know, talking to these guys. I've read so much about, but not really having the opportunity to watch their games. Because I wasn't born then. All right, uh, Jimmy is in the studio. J Jimmy's, I mean, you, you can it's, smile. It's, I know you, it's, you it's were not there when they were playing, so <laughs> don't say anything. But it's a great honor. It's yeah. a great honor. I've seen um, Francis, as I've actually read Francis' book. Yeah. Um, okay. He's been here, yeah. so we got an autographed uh, copy, copy each on set. And um, I think reading through, it just tells you that some of the things Ken does talk about. Yeah. You just begin to understand where Ken is coming from, when he starts waxing lyrical. And you can see the brick bat between, you know, yeah. the two legends, the two legends of the game. And this just excites you. And you now look at it from this point of view. What exactly do we need to do to ensure that moving forward, who the stars are right now, they can engage themselves in this kind of, you know, banter in 30 years to come? Look at the recollection of memories. I mean, even then, you had the likes of uh, the Professor Eto Amechina, also Ala BSN. You, you could just imagine how great Nigerian football yeah. was domestically. So the question really is, what are we doing to engender this, to entrench, you know, this philosophy that we must ensure our traditional clubs and even the ones that are coming up, they get the fans engaged. They get the players together. Everybody, the administrators, everybody must work hand in hand to ensure Nigerian domestic football gets great again. All it right. is very important. I hope we can do that. But okay. while I love can, we, can, can we sign? Can we sign Francis off? Okay, uh, Francis. Oh, he came back. Thank you so much for taking out. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm back. Oh, okay. I want to thank you so much for taking out time, you know, to to join us on on the program. But hopefully, maybe we can catch up with you again.
anytime. Ken knows how to, how to reach me. So okay. anytime, I'm available. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank I'll you, here. thank you so much. All right. For another, for another week. Okay, okay. okay. That's fantastic. Being on, being on okay, okay, okay. Thank, you. thank you. Bye. 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 All right. <laughs> There's something that they said that you know that got me thinking. He said it wasn't. A, it was about them, the personalities that were playing the game. It wasn't so about, it was about them. So it wasn't about administration. Exactly. So just like what you seen both said mm. about you know athletics, they were asking him. I mean, it's like since you left that hundred meters razzmatazz, so to speak, that we have, we don't have it anymore. He, he said something that someone that he is looking at that the person that he's looking at that the person that he's looking at exactly had to be noalized. That's the only guy. That's the only athlete that athlete that he knows that has got that 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 will bring him in. So you see, a personality can actually define a sport. So it was about them. So maybe if we see such personalities who are ready to actually talk to each other, I mean, you go to some camp, I mean, national team camps, you see like a kind of a clique. Maybe yeah. you have two players who always stick together. You have three always stick in, together. In our own so national you team, you see, that... you see Ian Acho and in Didi. Okay, so that's, that's, so some of them seems to have that. So as he mentioned, it's about mm. personal, it's about what they were doing at that time, and that actually usually helped them. But let's leave that, because I know we can spend the whole time. We can get <laughs> confirmation of the Federation Cup final, the, 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 the fixture for that. It's going to be in Asaba, 21st uh, Wednesday in Asaba, Delta State. So that's when Ben Insurance will be up against Enugu Rangers. Of course, a Stephen Kershaw Stadium, that's when it will be played. So mm. maybe best team win. But the thing yeah. is, any of these teams, any of these uh, clubs that win, the calf they will Cup. play in the CAF Confederations Cup. Remember, Enugu Rangers didn't make it to the Super Seas. Yeah, but then but, played it, but then but they, they didn't have uh, exactly a good uh, performance. Fourth, yeah. Yeah. They finished mm. fourth in that, so they couldn't get a ticket, ticket yeah. to that. Talking about the MPFL Championships playoffs, that is the Super Seas. Aimba won. Aimba won. A A yeah. Aimba won. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Aimba, Rivers. Re yeah. Aimba won. Yeah. And it's something that we are delighted about, especially because, you know, Finidi, um, an ex international guest to win the trophy. Yeah. A lot of people actually, at some point in time, believe that maybe he wasn't the man for the job, but he's proved himself. Mm -hmm. And also, the Aimba team, just like we know, when they get into competitions, yeah. Yeah, they are always very difficult to, you know, discount in us. Yeah. And that was exactly what they did in this particular competition. And it's good to see the fact that the, the strategic partners of the IMC Stroke NFF, they have also delivered on the promise, yeah, um, the 100 million promise, mm -hmm. and they also put conditions um, 50, okay. 25, 25 talks about welfare, ensuring recruitments are sorted, infrastructure, mm -hmm. and also whatever they want to do uh, with the money. It's, 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 um, it's, um, you could argue that, um, you could argue that yeah. they should not tell them. But I don't think that we should look at it from that point of view. I feel that um, what the IMC have done so far and the, G uh, the strategic partners have done right at this point in time, is very, very commendable. Okay. And they've got to show the way. They've got to direct the path so that everybody follows through. And I think it's something that we need to be excited about moving into um, the new season. Okay. And again, okay. we were talking about the fact that players, you know, uh, Usain Bo, there's this paparazzi around certain players that makes the sport, you know, grow. Now, for me, I would think that the most important thing is the clubs that are going into the, on, on going the to play continent. on the continent, yeah. it is very important they start making superstars out of the protagonists, the players. But are they really ready? But then let's see how do they start. I mean, it's going to be all about business. But let's uh, take a listen to the chairman of AIMBA. He's been there for a very long time. He was super happy AIMBA winning the title for the ninth time. But the question I actually asked him was about how do we actually translate these wins? Because AIMBA happens to be the most successful team you can think of in Nigerian football. But how do we translate this? success into money because last season we saw how rivers actually came and literally took most of your players how do we translate that but let's take a listen to uh INC, who happens to be the first vice president of nigerian football federation how they can really make aim by a club where people really want to invest in and not just only governments putting money without money coming from the government they can't really do anything uh, the, the result today has also not proven that we are the champion, so we have the best of the players. Well, obviously, we cannot compete with Rivers United. It's a sunny team, and they have more money. We, have, we are not envious of them for having more money 
than us. Obviously, their state is also richer than our state. So we got our code according to our size. So we'll continue to give our best. But uh, having money, doing all this, is very important in football. Investing in football, investing on players, quality players, that is the way to go. I am happy that every other team has also learned that from us. So we have invested, we are a team that invests on players. That's why you get the result. Nothing else can give you the result. When you invest in quality players, you are sure of results. God on your side, the sky will be your limits. Well, you know, we here, we, we, we are here in Lagos. We have showcased our what we have and the world have seen us. So it's not left for corporate organizations to come in. We are open for sponsorship. You know, Enyimba is viable for any sponsors. We will give you return to your money, return to your investment. Come and invest with us. This is just the beginning. There will be a new Enyimba after our participation in African Super League. So Enyimba has a lot to offer. So whoever that is investing in us will never regret it. We're a good brand. We're a good product. We know how to promote our sponsors. We know how to promote our partners. So there is room for people to come and partner with us. So we will do our best to make sure that we are no longer dependent on purely on government. We are trying to look at the views of Nigerians because we started the Abrazi League with so many challenges because even the clubs themselves, they are not ready to do it until we try to show them that it's the best way to go. And then when they try to reason with us, look at the results. We will still, try, we will still continue to consult before the league starts and we'll see how we move on. If it is the best model that we can do for at least the next two, three years, I think we can continue with it. But if it's not the best model as far the views of so many football stakeholders in Nigeria, then we'll look for the other option. This is just uh, a proof of concept. We did this because it was important that we align with the rest of the world. Uh, from August, we are going to start a new calendar season that is going to be in tune with the global calendar. That is the essence of the Abrig League, and we are happy with what we have seen. It's a package. The TNFF and what GTI is doing is a total package. What you are going to get from next season is going to uh, excite Nigerians and the rest of the world. Remember, we do not just have the market, we have the talent, we have the sporting spirit. So what is holding us? We are, we are set to be the best, among the best in the world. Of course, that's uh, one of the partners of the Nigeria of the Nigeria Premier Football League partnership with the Interim Management Committee, Abaka Lawa GTI. I mean, they are the ones ensuring that yes, you know, the league is really running, and they want to improve more of them. But before that, you listen to the chairman of uh, AIMBA talking about yes, they are open for investment. If you have the talent, they've got in fact. The, one of the best players I've ever played for the country, talking about Finindi Jojo, happens to be the coach of the team. So what else do you actually want to make that club more glamorous? That's what they want to see because they will be going to the continent. They're representing Nigeria. They've won the CAF Champions League twice. And everyone is hoping that maybe Aimba can bring back that glory where we can actually you know how the Champions League trophy being celebrated in Nigeria. Well, uh, Mary Ajala is in the studio joining us at this very crucial time. We're, talk we're talking about, you heard uh, from uh, Gus also talking about Bridge League, maybe something they can look at it for a while, but the sponsors also, if you look at the club owners can also decide that. If they want to continue with this, maybe after four seasons, then they can, you know, go back to that 38 game uh, our league. Uh, it's good to have you join us on the program. You miss out on the legend, so it's your luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for having me, Sissi. And I think. Um, uh, aiming back to Champions League title was as far back as 20 years ago. Precisely. So what have we done with that success? Um, can I go to Aba today and say, look, I have to go to Aimba Museum and look at their uh, glorious past? So we, uh, it's like we did not manage that success very exactly. well. And I think, um, though it's never too late, but I think uh, 
when you have the, uh, the man in the saddle for the same two Spirit, decades, stretch of years, yeah. years, and we cannot actually see this thing. So it's more like uh, the zero budget uh, budgeting uh, kind of scheme that just money comes, it goes, and it don't even plan uh, for the future. So mm. I think uh, by now, when people go to Abai Shu, it should be part of the tourist uh, attraction mm -hmm. for That's guys because you go to every other place in Europe, you go to Real Madrid Museum, uh, there are new signings. They actually take them through the museum and they take their signings and what have you there. So I think that should just be it. Okay. Uh, you you, 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 you get on the website of Oyimba, how, how many people can actually purchase jerseys, memorabilia from the website? If the merchandising is not properly done, it's a problem. If fan engagement is not properly done, it's a problem. And how exactly do you want investors to come in when they don't see you as a business to invest in? So these clubs need to be better run as a business because if you are pitching, you need to pitch with every of what you've got going for you that anybody wants to invest in. Most of the people that actually do invest, at a point in time, they had a sport betting, even a, yeah. uh, a brain brand, you know. But the question is, how are you able to sustain them Those beyond brand. a couple Four of seasons. years, just a couple of years, two seasons, three seasons, and all that? So now, like Ope did say, we've had the same person in the saddle, and things have got to be done differently. Because this seemed to be the year of the traditional clubs. We've seen insurance and Rangers getting into the FA Cup, uh, the Federation Cup final. We've seen that a by a traditional club won. We've seen that even in the regular season, it was the, the talk was all about insurance and other traditional teams. So they've got to do things differently. We want that situation whereby we can go on the continent and we are absolutely sure that our players will represent us well, the clubs will represent us well. There will be proper you know, positive image, you know, being, um, you know, being brandished about these clubs so that Nigerian football can grow. We've seen the strategic partners, they've done well. We've seen the IMC, they've done well. So if you talk about the average league format, I think it's the best because it allows these clubs, you know, spend less mm -hmm. in terms of ex expenditure. You see that for the regular season, 38 matches, it, the cost usually is very, very humongous. So how do we avoid that? Make sure we have an ability format. You see the, uh, the ending, the climax to it is fantastic to see. Because at the end of the day, the best of the best come together in a carnival-like atmosphere. We see the best of football. You see the coach, the national team coach, being able to pick players from there. So these are the things that we need to look at moving forward. We know that everybody wants to see a, a, a good uh, stretch of football. But within the scope of the regular season, let the Federation Cup itself attain its glamour. With, okay, look at it. Super, uh, the NWFL the Super 6 was being played concurrently with the male, with the male version. It's not supposed to be so. Yeah, but we have enough time now to yeah. plan and make sure we get things right. Yeah. Ken, I think you have to come in on this one. Uh, before, I don't know if you're going to drop your pen early. <laughs> you haven't mentioned that. Getting ready to join us on this one. Talking about the abridge link, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, all of us on this show, on a, on a, uh, equivocally said, the abridge link is it. Uh, 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 you saw the Indian by chairman saying they sued their quota according to their clause. The, you, 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 you are going to the government to give them money to run the league. 38, 38 uh, 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 a week league is not, you know, uh, it's very, very difficult if you cannot generate your revenue. Like I said, FIFA defined a professional football club as a club that earns more than it spends. But here uh, are most of these clubs zero income expenditure, 100% government. So, uh, uh, um, for now, the average league is the option. Uh, uh, the beautiful thing about it is like, like Sir Jimmy is talking about, look, look, the carnival-like atmosphere of the whole thing coming in, sponsors coming in, fans coming in to enjoy this, and then you reduce costs. From playing 38 matches a season, you are now playing 18 matches a season. 20 matches have been removed. You understand? That means, you know, uh, 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 Nine, nine on the trip, when you travel, you pay for hotels, the risk and everything is reduced. You understand? So this is the way to go. I say there was the, the, the NFF chairman is saying uh, maybe two, three seasons. Left for me, we can do this. Let's just, let this be our own tradition. <laughs> let it be what we are going to do the format because it brings out the best we have. You're talking about going, going, let me, let me go, to, go, go, go to the continent. Let me tell you this. 
formerly when you there, there was a day Rangers was playing Rangers was playing Electric Football Club of Ethiopia. Uh, uh, ICC was playing Bata Bullets of Malawi. We have Gomaya of Kenya. We have uh, uh, Molodia Chalia of Algeria. We have Police of Senegal. You see, these are teams that when you hear their name in Africa, if you hear Rangers, if you hear anybody, you just admit the fans they say Shiva. They Shiva because these guys like Al 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 okay. and other teams. That is what which we're going to. Right. Uh, it, it's a beautiful season. I enjoyed myself today, and I hope you guys in the house enjoy yourself. And I do probably. Uh, when we come when we come back from this break as i sign off we open the lines and ask our ask our fans who do they think is going to win the fa cup is it going to be rangers international of enugu or is it that is the bayern of nigeria or is it going to be the edo arsenal Bendel insurance of Benin? i sign off here guys have a blessed sunday see you then sunday ken all right let's wrap this abridged league uh talk with uh, a, a voice of the former minister of sports, Sonny Daria. Just former minister, okay. <laughs> Good former minister of sports. We're still waiting for the cabinet for this particular administration. What do you have to say concerning the obituary? Years ago, 15 years ago, our football was at this level. The league, Leventis, Ice Shooting Stars, the Challenge Cup was going on well. The calendar of our football, both domestic and continental, was perfect. So we have been here before, but we departed from the DNA of our football. We decided to rely on some extraneous ideas. And the league suffered, lack of discipline in the league, lack of resources, the sponsors walked away, competitiveness disappeared. So what we simply did was to do the hard work, to hunker down, to step on some toes, to shake the table and say, we must bring the league back. It's a work of three years, done silently, but we did what we needed to do. And you saw how the league itself reacted. Club owners reacted. They saw the transparency. So we've been here before. It is sustainable, but we need all stakeholders. It's beyond the minister. Mine is to set the direction. And that has been done. It's not left to the football administrators to do what is right. I'm an advocate of the Abridge League, because that is the short therapy that is needed for a comatose league like ours. We have tried the Abridge League for the first time. We have seen that that short therapy is working. It's like somebody down with jaundice, malaria, and typhoid. Before you do that long treatment, you need a short therapy to get it up and alive so that whatever medicines you're going to apply down the road will work on the person. Now we've been able to apply the short therapy. And my advocacy is that this should continue for another two seasons. By then, everything will have sat in its right places. A few lessons will have been learned. We'll have prepared for that longer run. And who knows, eventually, the clause might even reduce because the enforcement of regulations, financial licensing will become stricter. At the end of that time, you won't have 20 clubs in the Premier League. You have about 12. I'm telling you, if they apply this consistently, if you have 10 clubs, the sponsors will come, the quality will go up, and then anybody that wants to join knows that if you don't meet those rules, you cannot get in. All right, I think uh, the ministers, uh, the former ministers talk actually wrapped that up, talking about the bridge league. Is this something we can practice or not? The players and, of course, the owners of clubs and club chairman are still debating on that. I remember when I spoke with the highest goal scorer of the league, uh, Chuka Emeka, he said something, Obioma, he said his target for the season was actually 20 or 25 goals, but then he got 16 because it was the bridge league. Maybe it was longer, I would have loved. So those are one of the players that advocate him. For that 38 game, but depends on the money, how much can you put it? All right, let's quickly touch down all the super focus of Nigeria. Finally, we have the list of the players that will be representing Nigeria in New Zealand and Australia. That's the first thing we're having 32 teams for the World Cup and also having two uh, countries actually hosting the Women's World Cup. There you have them Chan Chamakan Nandozi, our place for Paris and France, to Chole, of course, in, in Turkey, and you also have you one day. Uh, Balogu, she's also part of that squad. We'll go to the defenders. No, maybe she's there. Also, Nachiogale also there. Gloria Buena. You have Ashley Promter. You have Rufia Timuran. You know, from four connection was Costa Rica last time, and now she's with the senior national team. You have Michela Lozio of Houston Dash. Luwato Sindime also from the Falcons also playing for France. Same club, Rufia and 
Tosin. Midfielders, you have Alima Zainde, of course, of Rosengard in Sweden. Rashida Tajiba, the Atletico Madrid, Tony Payne of Sevilla, Christy Uchebe of Benfica in Portugal, Deborah Biodun of Rivers Angels, and Jennifer Echegini of Florida State University in the U.S. So go to the forwards, Uchena Kano of Racing Louisville in the U.S. in Kentucky, Money Gift of Tenerife in Spain, Fioma Omonimo of Gotham FC in the U.S., Satoshola Barcelona, Dark Baron uh, Wuhan Chengu in China, Francisco Odega, CSK Moscow in Russia, Esther Koronko for uh, Set NTN in France. So these are the players. And of course, there have been talks about the exclusion of, you know, uh, Ngozi Okobi because whenever she's on the field, you know, people talk about what she brings to it. But then the coach seems not to fancy her. But before I go to the guest in the studio, let's just uh, take the tweet, what she tweeted me. She says she's been receiving so much support from people. There you have it. She says, the more tag notifications I get on my phone, the more I keep crying. What a show of love. I know I'm always underrated by the people I work with. I never knew my fans, family, and loved ones still believe in me. Thank you all. It's broken to be left out, but what can I do? Nothing. That's coming from Ngozi Okobi. Heartfelt, and when I saw the tweet, my heart actually went out. I know how, you know, it's one of the players, when you see her dedication, is not in question, but apparently, you know, coaches love the players. I mean, they, they, want, they know the players they want to work with. So they feel, okay, I can't work with this particular player. There's really nothing. And then they drop them. What do you guys think Ngozi could be not a part of this uh, squad? Yeah, as, aside from Ngozi, I also felt um, Okwemi Ajakai should have been part of this squad. Okwemi, okay. Yeah, she should have been part of this squad because at the point in time, you always need that energy. No, no. Maybe I don't agree. She should maybe, have been she part got, maybe she will have her own time. Because she will have her own time. You know, because you can't pick more. You know, FIFA is 23. So it's not like the men are 26. So you can't pick 26. So you have just I know. 23. I know. You know why I, I can't, I can't fault Okwemi? Okay. Uh, I can't fault Okwemi. Yeah. There's that Okwemi factor. At the point, you will need that. I love. I I love where he's coming from. I love okay. She Continue. is seventeen. She's seventeen. She but my, my concern, my yeah. concern. But okay. Yeah. She's you, 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 with someone we still can take on anybody. Okay. Okay. So, so my concern, concern now is I would have expected Oyin Yes. and Flourish, the two of them. Mm. We talk about the super six. The other time I talked about Obioma at least making mm. it for strategic na national interest because you want to protect your league and all that. These two played in the Super Six, the NWFL yeah. Super Six, mm -hmm. and they made the team of that competition. They were fantastic. They have the absolutely team. no reason not yeah. to be in this uh, Yeah, we team. actually don't have home and best players in the team. I mean, you see Deborah, and you ask me, Deborah, I mean, Deborah, she, she, she had also yeah, left. She has but left. if you also look the at the Rafia Timran, you know, she also was there. Most yeah. times, it may no, be get to play. Those ones have been move. in Europe for close to one year for a while, but Deborah just left. I'm yeah. sure that's why they still put in Rivers uh, Angels. Rivers Angels. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe when the club confirmed, or no man left her club to come to Abia Angels. Uh, we spoke to uh, her live on the show, uh, and she uh, said she uh, was uh, training uh, with uh, Abia Angels. Mm, nice. so, so they are what I mean, now, no, 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 that's not. That's not what we were saying. As you said, we watched the Super Six. We saw something. I mean, FIFA is actually giving so much money. We know money will be coming to clubs. So we're thinking maybe. But you know, when you have a coach who feels, as I mentioned earlier, that he wasn't there. We saw. He was there. He was there in Lagos. Do you have what a drum? Do you have a full-time coach? Messi, for the Messi, team? well, I well, do you have, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Look right, at Messi or Moko. No, Messi or Moko scored nine goals. goals. Exactly. So you even put her, even Chinaza, they were they were fantastic players. That at this point in time, the momentum is there for them. Yeah. Yeah. Include them, so that other players in this. No, when you look at the squad, there, there is no there is no single home best player here. So I think that's what I'm going to say. Because he will not be here because the assistant was not there. This is not his main job. <laughs> this is your part time <laughs> side you, 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 <laughs> side so, so, side Wait, wait. Side Super for count. The, 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 the most successful team imagine? in Africa, yes. men or women, yes. happens to be a side That's yes. where we put okay. ourselves. <laughs> I think I'll start discussing this with Moko. We'll start our countdown to the FIFA Women's World Cup next week. Maybe more on that. We'll have but, more. But, but Cecilia or yeah. Okobi, yeah. I, I, okay. I fail to understand where World Drum is coming from. You know, because I, she's the most creative of yeah. our players. Mm -hmm. So you begin to ask, where exactly is he looking at creative outlets from? Is he a Chegini or yeah, looking, um, Payne at, uh, and all that? Because of but, Jennifer that is coming in 
and Deborah Abiodun is not as creative as, as and that is the question as, uh, for me. Kobe. So maybe so why Deborah has been added because Deborah has been with the team for a while. And if you check at the Nations Cup, because your Kobe wasn't part of the squad initially, she, 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 she was drafted. She, she was had been having this problem since 2021. Yeah. She was always dropped. She got Wait, into the team again. Coach, well, yeah, so the yeah. coach didn't like her from the onset. Or maybe the coach no, <laughs> not like can, her. You can't say that. Maybe you know. No, it's about it's about the pattern. Before, if if you're picking a student, Jennifer. She, she just joined the national team. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, she scored a, I mean, she, two, I think, maybe a cap or three caps or something. She's, yeah. very, she's still in school, Florida State University, right? So if you're picking, uh, we're, we're talking about you're going to the world, you're going with your if best. Your best. Yeah. Mm. You're going with your, yeah. you're going with experience and everything. Then you now look at the midfield. You, you see uh, Rashida Dajibade, Halimat Ainde, mm. you see Tony Payne. Christy, of course, and we are going to Deborah the World Cup. Then you bring Jennifer. Maybe because of Jennifer, that's why Ngozi Okobi was dropped. So dropped. that's what I'm looking at. That, that's, that's what I can deduce from this. Then you come to the forwards and you're asking yourself, who do you drop for you to have a uh, Okoyemi? Okay. I'll, that's I'll, why I feel I'll drop it will be hard, except Onumonu. I'll you drop Onumonu. drop Onumonu ahead of. That battle than I lead. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you, guys. So let's leave the <laughs> squad like that. But the coach has chosen. He feels these are the players he can work this with. Is what it and is. so this is what it is. Mm. And these are the players that will be representing Nigeria at the World Cup. 23 of them. And the World Cup is starting uh, July 20th. Remember, Nigeria is in the group where you have the Olympic champions, you know, Canada, one of the pro host, Australia. Because, and of yeah. course, you also have Republic of Ireland. They're so part of that group. Before we go, Super Ego has touched down on them quickly, but there's a message coming from Ahmed Musa. We'll leave that of the coach. What Ahmed Musa is saying that superstars don't play football. If you don't work hard, obviously you will lose. Let's listen to him and, of course, talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the game they will be playing uh, today, 5 p.m. For me and my teammate, I think we are very, very prepared. We know the game is not going to be easy because any team that win. It's going to be a good uh, win for the both teams. So, but if we win, we automatically qualify to the outcome. So we know it's not going to be a very easy game. It's going to be a tough game because they are very good. Forget about we have a lot of stats in the team. So if we don't work very hard in the, in the, in the pitch, we are, it's going to be very difficult for us to have that three points. So we understand the importance of the game. So we are going all out to win the game. Why do you think it's very, very important for us? Because you think Nigeria have all the superstars. So superstars don't play football nowadays. So you have to work very hard in the pitch. So no matter how everybody that is coming to play the Super Eagles, is just coming to beat the Super Eagles because whenever any, any, any small country beat the Super Eagles, it's a big news. But when we win, it's not, it's not a news. Okay, there you have it. So it's today at uh, 4 p.m. Liberian time. That's when the game will be played. Sierra Leone and Nigeria. And the reason it's being in Moravia Liberia is because the Sierra Leone don't have, you know, a yeah. uh, calf approved pitch. That's the reason it's being played. I don't know if you have time. Quickly take a look at some of the results. Shocking results from Saturday where you have Zambia beating uh, Cote d'Ivoire. When you see a result like that, a comprehensive three goes to nothing. You understand mm. that. Super Eagles, superstars don't play. Zambia and Cote d'Ivoire, that's the three in Lesotho and Comoros. And you have Equatorial Guinea and Tunisia. That's another result that will will uh, shock you. Let's just run through the remaining results. South we have Africa. Benin Republic and Senegal, South Africa and Morocco. Morocco. Yeah. So when you see this result, so Super Eagles, you understand where Ahmed Musa is coming well, from. No, 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 but they are home. South Africa is home. Hmm? Uh, what? I said, but unfortunately, Ahmed Musa is the superstar in that team. Okay. Ah, I don't agree. Simen. I don't agree. Yeah, yeah, it's because not, because but, people are saying it should be based on current form. form. Not being your past as a superstar. Is that because it was a superstar? Oh, be, be, uh, okay. But I basically, <laughs> basically, what he was trying to say is yeah. names don't play football. Mm -hmm. So Nigeria has got to go play because if Nigeria yeah. does defeat right. Sierra Leone, it's okay. not going to be news. But if Sierra Leone does as much as draw against Nigeria, it's going to be they news. They came and got the. Eh, it was call. news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was news. We don't want that news again. We met, we met seven <laughs> times since 2010, and what happened? Seven. They are five wins only two and two draws. Two in 18. They are okay. one only two four in 18. Four, 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 so four. which is. Which is good. Mm. Thank you guys for coming on the program. Always a pleasure to be here. These five goes all the best. All the best for it's very good today. They need to beat Sierra Leone as much as five goes to nothing so yeah. that we know that, yes, people start <laughs> to play football. Big names play football. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Have a fantastic day. Mm.